Hey everyone, welcome back to a Bakugan unboxing. Sorry I haven't exactly uh, upload happy these past few days, or weeks I guess, I've been a bit busy. So um, I've got um, uh, Bakugan Geogon Rising Aqua's Sharktar. I I wanted to get Shark Tar for a while, but these guys haven't really been in my stores. My Walmart has been completely empty. We've been going there these past few days trying to get some of these. So yeah, he's a shark. He's got legs, so I really have to I really had to get him. Let's open him up. The packaging has really changed for these. Changed for these. Um so I've noticed that the view counts on the channel have been down, but it's okay, I'm not blaming you guys, you're busy people. Well, uh, these, this packaging has an absurd amount of tape on them, these new ones. I guess they're trying to be showy and stand out in the aisle. The aisles? No. Okay. There's the back. There's the front. They're not exactly packaging these as well as I'd like them to. Mm. Jeez. I've opened a couple Bakugan off camera. Sorry about that. Uh, get the core out. Get the core out. Yeah. Okay, so Green Fist, Darkest Invent, Darkest Ventus, and Magic Shield. Minus 400. I think that's the first minus core I've seen that I've that that, that I know. Make okay. We got a little map here. Here, this, this is probably horrible. Um, these all look interesting. Cool list. I'll look at that later. Okay. Um, the gate card is. Ooh, I don't know what that guy is. Um, gate 19. He's got... How many press of wings does he have? Okay, the ability card is Chomping Tornado. I'm not sure what he's fighting. And here's Shark Tar. 800 B power. Damage rating of 2. It's pretty cool. I think my camera's a bit fuzzy. Okay, here's Shark Tar. Oh, he wasn't really in there. Ah. Oh. Alright, there he is. Shark Tar. Fins and he chomps. He's got a long tail. Not sure what this loose part is here. Okay, um, real quick, I actually got some of the new uh Geogons that I've been seeing. They finally came to my Walmart and I think I've and I've now have collected all the ones that they're going to release right now. You know, like the first wave of Geogons. Geogons, there those bad boys. There we go. It's nice to have them. It's nice to have them. Really loving uh, Stardox and uh, Vipergon. He's got two heads. He's just so cute. Okay, now to fold up uh, Shark Tar. So if there's if anyone is asking about the Christmas comic dub thing, um, I did not know it would be that bad. Okay, I. I don't know, I was having an odd night, so I saw those and I said, yeah, I should, I want to do those. So, sorry about that. I could, I'll, I'll take it down if you guys want me to. Okay, here's the cores. Let's roll them out. Okay. It feels like we're kind of making the back gone out of different material these days. The plastic feels a bit different. Brawl. Nice. How he flips up. So I think this this is one of the few ultras where they flip up, where you don't have to fold anything out. It seems. Let's try it again. I'm excited for Geogon Rising. I've been watching the episodes online. They've really been. I don't want to say copy. I don't want to say that they've been copying some of the plots from the original series, but it does kind of seem that way. 
Um, geez, Shakhtar. Come on. You're being stubborn. Eh, never mind. So, um, let's put the... Let's equip this guy with some, uh, Baku gear I have flying around. Um... Exploding Bakis. Let's give him Ramparian's thing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I don't have really good Aquas Baku gear. So yeah, sorry. So yeah, sorry for the lack of uploads. As you can tell, this is a bit off. Okay, I'm not sure what's wrong with the lights. Probably my shortest unboxing ever. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.